Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land to House. Today we're going to answer the number one most asked question for my YouTube channel. And that is, what is the minimum gallons per minute that the 3 4 inch hydraulic ram pump will use? So, in this model, or this setup, the um, check valve is facing straight up and down. And we found out that this will use um, 55 gallons in 24 minutes and with a pump output of eight to nine gallons at maybe 20 feet above the pump. So we can use that to determine uh, our new values whenever we make this pump um, use less gallons per minute. So let's get started. Just as before, we have a 55 gallon drum with a 20 foot drive pipe to our 3 4 inch ram pump then a 100 foot delivery pipe that goes to a five gallon bucket up the hill. To make our pump use less gallons per minute, what we're going to do is angle the check valve to the side and then drop the angle more toward the ground. So the water has less pressure to close that valve. Now what I'd like to do is see if there is much difference in the efficiency once we do that. So we're going to try close to a 45 degree angle here. And then, let's see. So we want the, uh, the flap to uh, close from the top. Like that. All right, let's try it out. Let's see if we can get this thing going. Almost. All right, I'm gonna push my stopwatch and slowly open the delivery pipe. I think I need another rock on this drive pipe. It's bouncing around. Yep, opening the delivery pipe killed it. Let's close that again. Doing this is kind of priming it and it's allowing the, the tank to build up enough pressure to have what I call back pressure. Okay, as you can see, it's moving much faster than before, and a whole lot less water is coming out. On this side, I've opened the delivery in just a little bit, but it's enough to reach up here to our bucket. Let's go check that out. So I noticed that the water started flowing in here at six minutes. And you can see it is much less water flowing than our previous test. Oops. Oops. There you go. So, I mean, that'll fill, you know, over the course of a day. It's still a good bit of water. But we'll see. So it's been eight and a half minutes, and we've got less than half a gallon. The test is going well so far. We're at um, 10 minutes, and we've only used about that much of our 55 gallon drum, so maybe sitting here for a while. So take this time while we're waiting on our results to um, push the thumbs up if you're enjoying this video. It does help my standing in YouTube's uh, search. Um, also, after we find out how many gallons per minute this uses, go to landthehouse.com 
and order your own pump. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's taking water from this barrel, a drop about three feet, and pushing it about 20 feet in the air. So, lots of practical uses for that. I've been using mine over here to water the garden. Um, so it's, it's great not to have to walk down to the creek uh, or use some kind of gas pump. And now we're at 24 minutes, the same time that the pump stopped before. Let me show you here. The barrel. We are approximately right here. So, a little better than halfway. So, looks like we're going to have half the uh, gallons used as last time in the same amount of time. Now let's go up here and see how many gallons are in our bucket. Well, looks like we're around halfway full on this bucket. Maybe a little better than halfway in the same amount of time as we had uh, eight gallons last time. So, you know, looking at two and a half gallons versus eight in the same time, but we're using half the uh, gallons per minute on our setup. How much water we have at 38 and a half minutes. Not bad, almost five gallons. Next time I'll use a smaller container of water. 45 minutes. Our bucket started overflowing at 46. So, we'll just call it like a half gallon more whenever this finishes pumping. Well, this pump just beat my expectations. We had an output of roughly six gallons because it ran longer than I was thinking it would. We consumed 55 gallons in 58 minutes, which means this used right at 0.95 gallons per minute, less than one. And um, the ratio was every nine minutes, uh, sorry, every nine gallons lost here one gallon pumped up there. So, it is a little less efficient because um, previously we had a one to six, but um, the maximum value of gallons per minute was uh, 2.3. So, from 2.3 we had uh, like eight gallons and then now um, six. So, it's nice either way. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a long time coming, but um, now we know. So um, be sure to hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Well, I'm happy enough with those results. Now we know that we can operate a 3 4 inch ram pump with as little as one gallon per minute flow. Check out this video here to your left. It's the maximum gallons per minute used by the 3 4 inch ram pump. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. I'm Seth Johnson with Land House, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.